discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Since our creation in 2006, the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has been focused on identifying and fostering cutting-edge research and innovation in the field of regenerative medicine in Maryland. Our Accelerating Cures initiative comprises programs that help transition human stem cell-based technologies from the bench to the bedside, as well as mechanisms to build and grow stem cell companies in Maryland. MSCRF has supported more than 500 projects to accelerate stem cell-based research, commercialization, and cures. We could not have done our work without the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. Anything that requires a real breakthrough is risky and requires uh, time and investment. Um, and it's not, it's not common that people can really give that investment, but the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund really tries to take the long view of saying, you know, how are we going to make Maryland a hub for tomorrow's medicine so that we can only not only help this, this, the citizens of Maryland, but also the economy of Maryland by, by creating us as, as leaders in the field that can be the medicine for not just even Maryland, not just the U.S., but even the entire world. The Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund was the first foundation to fund the research that's going on in my lab. It was the first grant that I wrote and we got funded, and it's been a game changer for, all, for my lab. It all started with that support from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. The Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has been really pivotal in helping advance this work. And it represents a commitment to this kind of fundamental research that, that we're incredibly grateful for because without this research, we would not be off the ground even. This was presented to the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund as an idea that we could maybe do this. And we were funded through the mechanism that essentially uh, takes an idea, invests in the idea, and allows the investigator to deliver on the promise of that idea. We really appreciate that Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has supported this work. Um, and this was actually one of my first research grants um, as a starting uh, principal investigator here at Johns Hopkins. And I was really fortunate to have the support to uh, explore an idea um, that was much more bold and risky than many of the ideas uh, that often uh, are explored in science. Um, and I really just appreciate um, having the connections and collaborations that have come through uh, Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. The support from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund was critical not only for getting my work launched, but that of the many other colleagues that I support as the JHTV Medical Director. We're really grateful to have this mechanism in the state of Maryland to help this important area of biology advance. One of the best things about the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is that young people can get grants. There, there's a long list of people uh, at the University of Maryland, as well as uh, across town at Johns Hopkins, who've, uh, whose early grants, whose early research, early in their careers, was funded by the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. And now they're distinguished uh, investigators. And so that benefit has both launched these scientists in Maryland and kept them in Maryland. The Maryland Stem Cell Fund is the beginnings and the catalyst to really get the fire going, productive engine that can take you all the way to something that can help people. The Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has provided us with the support to advance our blood-brain barrier on a chip device incorporate those mechanical cues and evaluate their impacts on the brain endothelial cell barrier function. They've really enabled us to make our blood-brain barrier model more physiologically relevant so that we can better understand the process of brain metastasis. I am very grateful to the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund for the support that we have had because it has sparked um, new discovery. It has come in and offered um, resources for projects that would have been a challenge um, to start in other ways that we now see um, are critically important for the development of new treatments and cures for patients who suffer from neurologic disease and in particular um, neurodegeneration due to Parkinson's disease. Overall, the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has really enabled us to bring our mechanistic studies of Timothy syndrome mutations into the context of a human cell model. 
allowing us to apply what we learned about the calcium channel itself to develop new treatment strategies. We've been very fortunate over uh, a number of years to receive uh, support from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. I believe we were the first uh, lab on the College Park campus to, to receive a MSCRF uh, research grant. I think it was way back in 2007, among the, the first class of, of folks that received uh, funding from the state. We've been able to use this funding to, to grow our, our lab and our lab's expertise in the areas of tissue engineering or generative medicine. Many of our research projects have been supported by Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. And in fact, uh, the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has made uh, a huge impact on our research program, uh, providing much needed resources and really helping us to train um, students and fellows to become uh, future uh, stem cell investigators. Um, I, I expect that uh, Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund will continue to make significant contributions towards stem cell-based ba heart regeneration and repair. At this moment in Maryland, hundreds of researchers are hard at work creating life-saving cures. At MSCRF, we know that the cell and gene therapy industry in Maryland and across the globe will revolutionize healthcare. Join us in our efforts to accelerate cures. Learn more about our mission, our impact, and our community of scientists and companies at mscrf.org. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.